Kuti Alechus. Birchus HaShachar was a morning blessings, Perak Gimel. We've now reached Os Yud Tes. So Rav Nachman and Rav Nassim here explain that there's a reality of the human condition that was created by the Chet of Adam HaRishon, where the human body cannot be transformed fully into a level of nefesh, except by purifying the soul and the body through the process of Misa, of death, to compensation, and eventually return of the strength in the Shama and the Holy Guf as part of Sriyas HaMesim. And however, during our lifetimes, we are commanded to do everything possible to have the nefesh, our soul, triumph over the guf, so that our way of servicing Hashem is not like that of a slave. In other words, our voda shouldn't be coerced, but rather should be like that of a loving son. And that can only be with zichuch ha taivos, if our taivos are minimized, downgraded, so that the neshama can be primary, and the guf can be secondary. This is what he explains is, again, the idea of the ben melech, which has been transferred with the ben shifcha. If the ben shifcha is in charge, i.e. the body, then our service of Hashem will be at best that of a slave and im kavadim. And however, if our neshama can get control over the body, limit its excesses and pursuit of pleasure and channel it towards asiyas hamitzvos, and chasadim, etc., and uh, masi, masi, mitzvos, and limonator, etc. And the body then begins to transform and become like a nefesh. Of course, the only person who completed that process was Moshe Rabbeinu, maybe to a certain extent Eliyahu Novi and others, but certainly Moshe Rabbeinu on, it, on its greatest level, and the VM and others, of course, to whatever extent they were able to, were, was a great wizard was uh, also a very great level. And here he complains this, he compares this to the idea when you daven for a chole that you mention the mother's name. Why? The main source of life for all creatures and all created beings. The is through the name. Bechinas nefesh chaya hu shmo. As it says in Bracious Base, Ki al Yidei Hashem shall call Davar Nimshah Hachius Tocho. The name is the vessel through which our life energy flows. Vegam Mechea Chaim from the from the life source. E F Shalaham Shichachius Ki Mal Yidei Shmo Yisbarach Kaviyachol. At the same tone, it's name to name. In other words, the name of Hashem doles out the the Chius. And to the Rikli, which is our names, which are the letters of our names, which in a spiritual sense are receptacles, can be filled up with that ore, with that light, and uh, receive it in this world. Okay, and that's what it says in Lukudei Maharan, Nun Vav, as Renaissance is applying it here to the concept of Birkos Shafar, Shafar. Including uh, Rofei Cholim, etc. Um, and since Hashem is a concept, as the Tukunei Zohar says in Daf Yud Zayin, that we cannot possibly comprehend, that's all we can know is the divine name. Beyond that, we can't know anything. Like a king which is hidden very far away from his uh, subjects, but they know his name, but they don't know him. As the Zohar says, no one really knows the king himself, but they may know his name. And therefore, as it says in Nehemiah, I'm going to give you a name, like today, we can understand what, whatever we can understand of Hashem through the various permutations and, and analysis of his name. And um, some of the names show his mastery of the world, his Ashkacha Pratis, and other other actions, Spheros, etc. Um, 
And this is why we call a person's name in part of the tefillah to strengthen that person's chiyus so that he can conquer his illness and remain in this world to continue the actions of purifying his soul so that we can become Bani Mashem and not just Avadim.